Nuestros primeros invitados son dos actores de la emocionante serie Chicago Fire. Recibamos a Joe Minoso y Cara Kilmer. <risa> con platanito. Híjole, de mi serie favorita, Chicago Fire. Gracias por estar aquí, Joy. Thank you, thank you for having us. Thank Gracias. You. ¿Cómo estás, John? De lo más bien. I feel very good. It's a little weird because I want to speak in Spanish. Y quiero hablar en español, en inglés, and I don't know where to... Where to go here? Ah, caray, hay español, inglés, no hablas bien el español. Gracias, amigo, gracias. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> Oye, a ver, yo platícame algo. Tú viviste un tiempo aquí en Los Ángeles. Sí, bueno, yo estaba en Chicago por años y años. I was in Chicago for years and years and years, and then uh, I was doing a play with Tony Plana. You know Tony Plana. Sí. Sí. Uh, 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 no. De hecho, Tony Plana estuvo aquí. Sí, amigo. Estaba en Chicago. Él estaba en Chicago. So we're in Chicago together. We're doing this little play, and Tony takes me out to dinner one night, and he's like, Joe, you know, I'm so glad to see you're working, and he's like, but uh, do you ever want to retire sometime? And I was like, yeah, sure. And he goes, well, you're not going to do that in theater. Uh, so I was like, okay, well, maybe then I got to try and change over to TV and try working. So I decided, I, mean, I sold everything that I owned uh, and I moved to Chicago. Uh, excuse me, I moved to LA. And then two months later, I booked Chicago Fire. The day that I signed the lease on my apartment. Ese día. Ese mismito día. I signed the lease on my apartment and I had to go right back to Chicago. And I <laughs> left. Pero, pero yeah. ¿y, y, ¿y no pagaste? ¿O cómo le hiciste? No, que si no pagaste. Claro que pagué. Ah, no pagaste. El año entero, ya. Yeah, I paid the whole year. Ya, ya, no, ya, ya no sé si decirte qué buena suerte o qué mala suerte. Bueno, no, buena suerte, sí. Definitely good luck. Bueno, sure. buena suerte porque, oye, qué buen papel agarraste. Eso mismo, eso mismo. Yeah. Oye, Cara. Tú también hiciste tu vida aquí en Los Ángeles, ¿no? Estuviste varios años aquí en Los Ángeles también. Yes, I lived here for five years before booking this show. I worked at the mall. Wait, what in the mall? Yeah, where? In, in the Westville Village Fashion Square Mall. That's what I was doing before ahí? this job. I, I, I worked at Brighton Collectibles and I sold handbags and, and jewelry for like three years. And I lived with three other girls in a teeny tiny apartment, just like all the other actors in L.A. That's what you do when you're starting out as an actor. I mean, yeah. you know, you live sí. with a lot of people and you do whatever you can for some money. Yep. Yeah. Pero, pero has, has hecho cosas lo, loquísimas. Por ejemplo, también tuviste un, un trabajo muy particular. The strangest job that I ever did, I was Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck <laughs> at Six Flags Over Texas. No, I don't know this. Wow. I didn't know this. So I, I was in the costume and you would have to go out and greet people, but I was a part of a show. <laughs> Con razón, desde que entraste te hiciste conocida. Yo dije, en, en algún lado le, 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 <laughs> You've seen her before. You knew, you knew. Este, están los ojos. Sí. <laughs> oye, oye, yo, y platícame, tú, tú también tuviste un trabajo muy particular. Eres fanático de Zumba. Before I started the show, one of the things that I did to try and make some extra money when I moved to Los Angeles was I got my Zumba license. Esto, and, fue, esto fue real. Realmente. Yeah, yeah, in real life. Uh, and uh, because, backtrack to like 12 years ago, I was almost 300 pounds. Uh, nah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, and so I got the tape. I took a class. I got a group and I took a class. I fell in love with it. I ended up losing like 70 pounds. Uh, doing it, and uh, so I decided to become an instructor. 70 libras. 70 libras, yeah. And so I decided to become an instructor, and uh, it's the most fun. It's like it's it's like you're not working out. It's like you're dancing. It's like these ladies are playing a jam, and you're just getting your dance on. It's the best. Oye, y qué padre que el amor entre sus personajes comenzó a través del baile, ¿no? Yeah, well, so what was funny about it is, you know, I did all this Zumba for years. I lost all this weight, and then I'm sitting at these very strange, awkward dinners with Dick Wolf. And we're trying to figure out something to talk about. And I mentioned Zumba and he goes, what is that? And I explain what it is to him and he's like, and then I tell him, you know, we haven't really seen what Cruz's side job is. So it might be funny to see if he was a Zumba instructor. And he looks at me and he's like, that's funny. <laughs> uh, and so then they just decided to kind of write in this Zumba. And that happened to be the first year that Kara came into the show. Uh, and she was just kind of this amazing, lovely character who was just coming in looking for a Zumba class. And Joe Cruz's was the number one Zumba class on Yelp. Mm -hmm. So she ended up, uh, and we kept that big secret. We started dating for a while and we're not together anymore, but we're trying. We're trying. Oye, ¿y cuánta pasión y cuánto fuego vemos en Chicago Fire? Ay, what, how many can you see? Yeah. You know? Get la séptima temporada. ¿Sabes? Les voy a decir algo y no lo van a creer ustedes. Es de mis series favoritas. 
No. Amo a los bomberos, de verdad. Bueno, porque tú eras bombero, ¿no? Yo era bombero, realmente. Así es. Oh, thank you so much. ¿Cómo sabes? Bueno, tú sabes. I do my research. Yo, yo fui bombero durante 15 años. Thank you for you for your service. Yeah. That's yes, very incredible you. what he does. Muchas gracias. No, no sé si recuerdan, Cara, eh, yo, una serie de hace mucho, de los ochentas que se llamó Emergency. The emergency, yeah. Gracias yeah. a Emergency nació mi amor por los bomberos. Yeah, it was, it, it's an incredible show. Dick Wolf actually modeled Chicago Fire after Emergency because he thought it was such a good show that showed great people doing great things for other people. And that's what we try to do every week. No dejen de ver Chicago Fire todos los miércoles a las 9 del centro por NBC. Amigos, ya lo saben, si les gustó este video, denle like y suscríbanse, compártanlo también. Oigan, si les gustó, qué bueno, y si no, pues se los va a cargar el payaso. ¡Ay, güey!